Well, welcome, it's Richie from Drifter Maniacs. Have I got an exclusive for you? This is one of the first delivery models of the new Traxxas TRX4 scale and trail crawler. Want to see how we got here? Keep watching, and we've got this car running in this video outside. Also, I'd love to hear your comments, your initial impressions of this car. Please put them in the comment section below the video. And if you like this video, you like what you see, you want to see more like it, then don't forget to subscribe when you've watched it. First of all though, I would just like to say many thanks to FNM Hobbies of New Jersey uh, for giving me exclusive access to their very first demo model, one of the first demo models uh, out there in the country. This model will be available for viewing at the shop. The truck is available to order from the shop. The link is below the video and at the end of the video. So keep watching, see how we got here. This is my Traxxas TRX4 Scale and Trail Crawler Review. This is Traxxas's first ever proper rock crawler. Didn't know Traxxas were moving into the rock crawler market. Neither did a lot of people. Caught a lot of people out by surprise. First delivery model. That's how exclusive this car is. That's Rumor has it. This truck is not going to be shipped to the big box retailers. It's, it may be distributed through local hobby stores. And more to the point, they're going to have an early demo version so that you can go in and look at. Anyway, without more ado, let's find out what's going to make this the king of all rock crawlers. First things, well, first things first, before I dive into the unboxing, I just want to say we're actually going to do a runtime video of this very car today. Batteries are on charge and FNM Hobbies have very kindly agreed I should do a short demo run so we can see just what the truck's about. So, what are the features that are going to make the Traxxas TRX4 stand out amongst them all others? Well, firstly, Land Rover Defender body. It's licensed by Land Rover above and beyond. It is very much scale, as the word says. Uh, it has portal axles, very unique. I can't think of uh, any other RC crawler to my mind, although I'm sure somebody out there will correct me that has these. Uh, without Traxxas portal axles, your tyres would need to be over one inches taller to achieve the same ground clearance. Now, normally, I don't spend too much time on the outside of the box, but just a few key features of this car. First of all, it's available in grey or red. This particular one, according to the sticker, is red. Radio-wise, it comes with ubiquitous Traxxas uh, TQ 2.4 GHz radio, but this one is Traxxas Link enabled, meaning you can connect your smartphone to it uh, to find out lots of uh, data from the car. This is where things start to get interesting. The new XL5, and I say new XL5 ESC, is now 3S LiPo capable. Indeed, one of the things about this car, like following on from the Ford GT, is you will need to buy batteries and a charger. It doesn't come with anything. It will either take a 6 or 7 cell nickel metal hydride pack, or a 2 or 3S LiPo pack. So I've got the LiPo packs uh, on charge to see how we get on. It comes with a 21 turn Titan motor, basic toolkit included. It also comes with the uh, ID battery system plugs fitted to the car. So let's get the box. Okay, so what you're seeing is exactly as what I'm seeing. Whilst I've cut the ends of the box open, I've not even had a peek inside before. Okay, now in this end of the box, Okay, now we've got our top qualifier radio, 2.4 gig, as I say, so nothing will interfere with it like a CB radio. We've got our uh, steering trim on here, our multifunction dial on here. I threw it up and this is exactly what that controls. Red button, wonder what that does. Quite possibly locks and unlocks the diffs at a fair guess. And we've also got a toggle switch on there. So we are going to need to read up to find out exactly what these two control. Very carefully, take this end now. Oh, okay, the whole truck is sliding out as uh, as one. Hey, very neat, very neat. Okay, so just checking in the box, nothing left in the box. So you just fuel it, as I say, there's no batteries in charger. Come with this car, it is way, way bigger than I thought. I thought it was going to be much smaller. I was not expecting this. Well, nice touch, the body comes fully encased in that uh, plastic. Just got to remove the two clips uh, from the top and bottom and undo. Okay, whatever I was, was expecting, it wasn't this. Just to give you some idea of just how big this thing is, just going to put my iPhone uh, down next to it. This thing is a very large crawler, and it looks absolutely fantastic. Anyway, we'll get the camera off the tripod, have a quick spin around that gorgeous body, and believe me, it is okay, gorgeous. I'm going to start at the back and move on round. We've got our spare tyre on the back, our scale gas tanks, our uh, number plate on here, 
light fixings, our little tow bar hitches underneath there. Super duper attention to detail on this baby. Along the top here, we've got our luggage rack. Everything, as I say, is a licensed Land Rover copy, so the uh, Traxxas TRX4 is definitely a scale and trail crawler. I can see this thing is going to sell like hot cakes, as I say, if you want one. Uh, F&M Hobbies are taking orders for them, and you will be able to go and see this one uh, in store later today. You've even got the front uh, tow hitches uh, on there. I am just hoping that this gorgeous red paint comes out well on camera. The thing is absolutely stunning. This is like a, the candy apple red uh, paint. It's just absolutely eye-popping. Anyway, like me, you're wondering, what's under the skin? Let's have a look. Let's find out. I'm not even taking a peek under here myself. Body a little uh, stiff on, the, on the, uh, the pins. No bad thing, though. And there we go. Wow. Okay, I'm going to get the camera off the tripod, get a close-up of uh, this. Immediate point of... Um, Interest is the central battery tray, ideal for uh, best centre of gravity uh, in terms of the weight distribution on the car. Okay, we've got a little uh, warning tag in relation to our uh, ESC and the uh, use of LiPos uh, with it. As I said, this will work with uh, nickel metal hydride batteries or even up to a 3S, which the uh, previous XL5 controller, I believe, only worked up to 2S. Okay. Starting on this side of the car, besides the ESC, we've got a tiny little servo here, which I assume is one of the ones for locking the diffs, and I've already spotted the other two uh, on this side, so I'm assuming we've got three differentials in here. Centrally mounted uh, battery tray, and all being well, that is one of the ones that pivots up to the side. Previously, these things have only been new, that's very hard to, to move, this is a real... Uh, uh, great addition is the simple fact of the pivot on there. Motor right at the front of the car, not in the middle, not at the side, not at the back, right at the front. Okay, we've got our steering servo tucked away on the top there. Um, while everything is made of plastic, this looks and not only looks tough, it feels tough. The whole thing immediately has a very horrible, durable rate to it. Uh, you've got the Land Rover Defender side step on there. there. Okay, moving on round, check out that front suspension and you've got a, uh, a very very uh, scale appearance in terms of the the diff casings on there now the uh, one thing you will immediately notice on this is the portal axles I'm going to dive down underneath to get a better look uh, at that you see the actual center of the wheel line should be sort of more here but the actual drops down in this little gear casing I guess in the portal axle in the side here giving you more ground clearance uh, an extra inch they say uh, compared to uh, other rock crawlers so very very innovative what more would you expect from Traxxas just notice they've even got a little scale winch molding on the front of the uh, car in terms of tire tread this looks fairly good fairly grippy for crawling um, I've not changed too many of my rock crawler tires um, but these do look to be pretty good certainly for stock tires from the thing no doubt people will change uh, modify those but as stock they look damn good to my mind okay moving on round from the front down the right hand side of the car We've got uh, our uh, receiver in here uh, in a waterproof box. And as I say, we've got two more mini servos on there, which I guess are going to be controlling our diffs. Again, you've got the Sun Land Rover side rail on there. Moving on round to the back. Again, we've got our scale differential case on there. And hopefully I can zoom in on these portal axles, get you a better picture of it at the front. You see there, the, uh, the axle itself is sitting higher than the centre of the wheel. That is the advantage that the portal axles give you, enabling you've got a, an extra inch of ground clearance uh, on the middle there. We've got nice tough bumpers, front and rear. We've got this very rigid uh, front and rear body uh, mounts on here, which will provide a, a roll cage, if you like, for it overall. So, how much travel have we got in this? Okay, we've got quite a bit of, uh, it's, not, it's stiff, but not too stiff in there. Okay, articulation on that. Not uh, too bad. Right, let's check the front out. Quick spin round. Okay, yeah, diving down on that. So, hopefully, that gives you an idea of suspension travel. It's not monstrously high, but it's pretty good, I would say. Well, the one thing uh, I nearly forgot to uh, review when looking at the, uh, the Traxxas Rock Crawler here is the underside which is all important as any of you with rock crawlers uh, will know 
just slowly drifting down there hopefully uh, get everything in the whole thing feels uh, very well built undoubtedly there will be people producing a raft of option parts everything looks fairly easy uh, to uh, to get to on this car so I can see highly beef versions uh, of this uh, coming up very on that very point of optional parts I can see Trax is bringing out lots of ex optional extras uh, to beef up and maybe change this car around okay with the body off what are your first thoughts of the uh, Traxxas TRX4 uh, rock crawler? Please have your say in the comment section below the video. Any questions you've got on the car, please ask away and I'll do my best uh, to answer them. As I say, going to take this outside in a minute once the, uh, the batteries are charged. So what else do we get in the box besides this gorgeous body uh, and this uh, quite amazing crawler? For a first entry model into the crawling market, this is car has clearly had a lot of thought go into it. Uh, definitely ticks all the boxes to, to my mind uh, on the uh, scale and trail uh, front. Okay, what else do we get? We don't get batteries, we don't get a charger. We do get uh, our instruction manual, which I'm gonna get out in a minute as I wanna know what that toggle switch does and the red button on the transmitter. We get our miscellaneous plastic piece on there, our Traxxas stickers, and our uh, basic Traxxas toolkit on there. So, batteries are ready to go. I'm ready to go. So Let's get them. I'm going to try the Traxxas uh, TRX4 on its first run uh, outside. I've initially set it with the diffs turned off and in high gear just to do a quick speed test. Apologies for the noise. I do live in the middle of the country. So, let's see how it goes. And it's super smooth acceleration. Now, being very careful with this because uh, certainly you don't want to scratch that gorgeous body. That is quick enough to my mind for a crawler. That's a good speed, good speed. More than happy with, uh, with that. The turning circle, I noticed just when I was playing around with it just now, turning circle is very, very good. Just going to turn it into uh, low gear. As that high speed is enough to my mind uh, to cover your long distances on the trail where you're walking in between obstacles. That's it on full lock pretty impressive to my mind obviously that will uh, decrease slightly uh, when the diffs are locked speaking of which let's lock the diffs and uh, get on with the show so quickly just all you got to do flick this switch and uh, the diffs are locked oh actually that turning circle's not decreased on there anyway let's go find some gentle rocks to uh, test this one on don't want to go anything too extreme today as uh, I don't want to uh, flip this body over very and it's very fast to change from uh, everything unlocked to the high gear on there and uh, it is super smooth in terms of it pulling away that is it going uh, pretty much flat out I'm not uh, just the uh, steering trim on that the steering radius is just phenomenal to my mind even for crawlers Ooh, yeah want to be a little bit careful on that and then to change back again, low gear, simple flick of the switch, lock the diffs on there, and then we're into crawling mode straight away. As I say, nothing too strenuous for it today. Don't want to uh, scratch that gorgeous body work over that obstacle fairly easily. Okay, get on some loose stuff. Just gonna... Very, very good turning radius. Okay, with all the diffs locked there. I'm not gonna try anything too extreme on it. It is super good on the throttle control. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I hope that's coming out as well as good as it looks. To set that cruise control, you simply get up to the speed you want to do and press this red set button and the thing is just crawling along. I'm walking along, look, like hands free. How cool is now, that? To take the cruise control off, you simply need to press the uh, the set button again. So we're uh, just going to tackle, uh, just switched everything into uh, low gear. Switch everything into low gear, lock the diff, so let's see how we get on up here. As I said, nothing too extreme today. This is just me wanting to see just what the articulation is like. Nothing that's going to threaten to tip that uh, body over, he says. Just try and uh, get down here. As I say, we're not wanting to go too extreme with this today. The throttle control, very, very good. And I noticed those tyres, if you notice them deforming, they are super squishy. They are going to give, I can tell you now, they're going to give loads of grip. You can, I can immediately tell the difference that those uh, axles are, uh, are making. The portal axles really do uh, their job. That extra ground clearance, definitely noticeable. As I say, not going to go too heavy scratch the car up today well 
um, just from my initial uh, short run on there I am very 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 impressed with this the throttle control is phenomenal the tires in, they're just super squishy they're just and it they kind of want in a grip immediately very very i think people are going to be very impressed uh, with the uh, the tires on the uh, traxxas crawler here uh, not sure what people are going to refer it to the traxxas uh, rock crawler or the uh, traxxas uh, trx4 we will have to wait and see please do have your say in the video well i hope you like this video i've had great fun with this car been looking forward to this coming for ages cannot wait to get one of these myself that's definitely going to be uh, going to be coming well if you like this video and you want to see more like this uh, more cars fast and slow please do subscribe well if you like this video then please do subscribe and if you want to buy your rc gear where i buy mine buy from fnm hobbies in new jersey many thanks for watching